hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening depending where you're watching this video from and the time you're gonna see this video if you are coming across my video for the first time i would like you to share my videos like comment and follow my page if you're not following me I remember you can now send stars to me we woke up yesterday and we saw this kind of disturbing news yes it's really a disturbing news yesterday because if you don't know the implication of what this man wanted to do if i thought he did it this justice will go that's when you'll be you'll be busy rejoicing that somebody have resigned from presidential or, or, or the judges that that was appointed to handle the case because it's really a bad one if i thought he did it now let me show you yesterday we saw this news that justice ugo has resigned from the presidential election judges the people that should pass your judgment on the case between tinibu and peter obi when i saw that news i decided to come down and watch everything play out but that is that i think spring court also came out and debunked the news that not, nothing of that nature happened but we also need the man to come out and clarify us if i thought he did that because according to the news they said that the man said that the pressure coming from the executive is too much on him that is why he decided to resign so that he will save democracy that you don't want to be among those that will destroy democracy by turning judge, judgment upside down. But let me buzz your bubble now. So you are listening to this particular information from me or watching this video. If at all this man has resigned from these judges, this man has done so many harm to the that democracy. He said you don't want to be among them that way destroy it by turning judgment upside down do you know why before i said what i want to say concerning that is it trying to tell us that other judges have bowed to the pressure from the executive he want to vindicate him. all of us know that such a thing must happen people be told us that people be said that changing the system in nigeria will not be easy all of us even we we people will call out ordinary Nigerians. We know that there must be pressure on you people right now. Too much pressure. But I don't think it's a wise decision for him to resign because I saw so many comments from so many videos that it's a wise decision for him to resign. Let me boss your bubble now. If this man really dis resigned from these judges, the new person that they will appoint to replace him, the implication of this particular thing now is that this particular new judge will have to revisit everything p2b has presented in court which means all the things p2b has presented from the beginning he also have to do that once again and remember that a time was given for all election petition in court to be concluded and if at all the new judge the, the new judge that will come did not revisit it on time and faster and the time elapses it simply means that the case we amount to nothing any longer they will throw out the case from the courts which means they have succeeded in stealing the mandates so it's not a wise decision for this man to resign so we want him as well to come out and tell us the truth what is happening because we, we are not seeing this as a remove so we have, we have to come out maybe in his handle twitter handle anything and tell us whether he has resigned if I thought he has resigned, I want to put it in that he has destroyed the democracy more than him being there and passed judgments. And we know that pressure will be coming from the judicial, from the executive. I want you to watch this video now. Like it, comment and follow my page if you are not following. So that people will know the real reason, what is happening, what is playing out. And we want him to come out and defend himself. I remember my humble self, the Eggman. P2B is coming. We move, no going back. This case versus Tinubu at the tribunal had resigned. According to the statement, Justice Ugo was being forced by APC and Tinubu to overlook evidence and join the other judges to rule in favor of Tinubu. I wasn't going to say anything about this matter because I believe it is a matter that is too weighty to be put out here without proper confirmation or verification but a lot of people have been in my dms saying say what you know about this matter and i'll say there are three major things i want to say about this issue number one if any judge resigns from that panel now 
it will affect the judgment. This is because the resignation or death of any member of the panel now will mean the quorum is lacking. That's a legal term. That means a judge is lacking. So they will have to bring in another judge to complete the quorum. Now, when you bring in another judge, the matter will be heard de novo. That means the matter will be heard afresh. Because bringing in a new judge will now mean that it's a new panel. So they have to hear the matter de novo. That's what the law says. The matter will be heard afresh. They will start again from the beginning. And you know, the law allows only 180 days for an election petition tribunal to convene, hear, and pass judgment. The new panel will not be able to finish the hearing and deliver the judgment before the statute 3 180 days will elapse. Therefore, the case will become statute bad. Statute bad is the legal term that means too much time has passed on a case. Meaning, they will now say the case can no longer be in court because the 180 days that is supposed to be used to hear the case and finalize and give judgment has elapsed. So the petition will be dismissed. This is the likeliest possibility if any judge withdraws from that panel or any one of them dies. So I don't think any judge that is interested in justice, that wants the truth to be told and upheld, would resign from that panel. This is just my humble opinion. And by every standard, I think it is better to have an honest judge sitting on that panel than to have him resign. You can come out, address the press. If you are under pressure by anybody, come out and tell the press that you are under pressure and you will still remain on that panel. You will become our eye on the panel. And the second thing I would like to say on this matter is if a man of honorable justice, Ugo Scaliber, wants to resign from a platform as big as a presidential election petition tribunal, I think he will do it officially using his social media handles. If he isn't on social media, he can call the press and address them or issue a press statement. By now, obedience would have been on the streets. But it is difficult to protest a rumor. We know how demonic uh, APC people can be. But the news has to be confirmed. Now, don't get me wrong. In every rumor, there is an iota of truth. In fact, if you ask me, I will say there is something going on with the man now. If you are an honest man on that panel, you and I know that by now, APC people would have been bombarding them with bribes and everything, trying to buy their conscience so that they can rule in their favor. We know that that will be happening now. So every honest man on that panel will be under serious pressure. That is certain. But have they yielded to pressure? We cannot say for now. Has anybody resigned or has anybody collected money? We can't state categorically because that would be like even giving up. That would be like you giving up on the panel saying that, yes, they are going to rule against you. So you don't have to begin to confirm for people things that they have not confirmed for themselves. And my number three take is, this may be another trick by paid members of APC to distract obedience, make us accept defeat, you know, get us to believe that the panel of judges has been bought already. So we don't even expect favorable judgment anymore. You know, it is clear that OB is already doing very well at the tribunal. And the evidence presented are massive, massive to the point that we can say that the judges' hands are tied. So these people may just be bringing this one up now as a form of distraction or to push people to some kind of responses that are not necessary. Then they will now bring up something out of that one just to distort judgment. Now, somebody asked a very important question. He said, why has any um, top member of the Labour Party not come out, you know, to debunk this news if it is actually fake? Now, that's a question that is difficult to answer with precision and certainty. But what I can say here is that for any top member of the Labour Party to come out and respond to this update as fake, they have to first contact the judge and be sure that it is fake. And the Peter will be that I know. We will not want to have a contact with a judge who is presiding over his case neither will he want anybody from labor party to contact 
the judge. So he would, by all means, avoid having any form of contact with any of those judges. So it behoves the judge to come out and tell us if this is fake or real. And while talking with a group of obedience today, I told them that what should be our main focus now is not even who is on the panel and who is not. Our main focus now should be to continue to put pressure on the judiciary to do the right thing. Whoever you are on that panel, you should know that our eyes are on you. And whatever money you have collected, it is not our own business. The evidence is clear. The constitution is clear. The electoral law is clear. And we are all watching you. Then our second discussion should be what will be the reaction of obedience if judgment does not go as we expect. If the right thing is not done, what will be the reaction? Those are the things we should be talking about now. Not, uh, you know, bothering ourselves so much about who is on the panel. Because if you go to social media now, this news of Justice Ugo's resignation is causing a lot of, you know, rancor and quarreling amongst even obedience. Because some people don't believe the news. They say it's not from verifiable source. They say so many media outlets like Vanguard, Sahara Reporters have come out to debunk the news as fake. And those that believe are attacking the ones that don't believe. They say, why are you saying this? Don't you know that the media too have been bought over? And you know, a lot of rancor on social media. And I'm saying, we don't need this now. We need the house together because this is a critical moment in this struggle. We don't want to be like APC people that are quarreling every day. Because now they are saying they want to make Ganduje the APC chairman. And they say, Kwam Kwaso people, they don't want Ganduje to become the APC chairman. <laughs> the house is so disorganized and is so scattered. And I don't want the obedient family to be like that. We have to stick together. This is a very, very critical moment in this struggle. And uh, we go stick together and we go continue to the push. All eyes on the judiciary. May they not try any wuru wuru with us. And finally, on the case of Honorable Justice Ugo, Many media houses have come out to debunk that rumor. They say justice no resign. And the tribunal themselves have come out to say the news should be debunked as mere rumors. Say the justice no resign. But the bottom line for us, obedient family, be say justice should be done. Let justice be done. Use the constitution and use the electoral laws take translate the case make you give justice and uh, whoever you be where they dear our eyes are on the judiciary we know they play this time around and we they expect to now in earnest to do the right thing for those of us we did this country now and for the children yet unborn but until then <laughs>